class, students, whoever's watching, I'm Ryan Wilson and I will be teaching you how to divide polynomials using long division. So the first step in knowing how to do this is knowing what you're doing. And basically, you're just dividing a polynomial by a polynomial using long division. And before we start, let's go over a simple vocabulary that you need to know. First off, a monomial. A monomial is an algebraic expression consisting of one single term. So, a simple one would be 22x. That's a monomial. 3x squared. It's another one. You know, whatever. 1, 30x cubed. That's one. There's, the list goes on. There's many different ways. And a polynomial. That is an algebraic expression consisting of one or several examples. I'm sorry, terms. So, like r squared minus 2r plus 22. That's a polynomial because it has more than one term rather than just one term. So you see 1, 2, 3, 1. This is a monomial, this is a polynomial. So that's simple vocabulary. We're going to be dividing two polynomials. So we're going to be dividing, like, let's say a simple one is like r plus 2 and r squared minus 2r plus 20r. I mean, sorry, just 20. You'll be dividing this into that. That's long division with polynomials. Now, in order to do this, you have to know how to do simple long division. The hard stuff. Dividing polynomials by polynomials. You have to know the order. By using, let's see, we'll just start off with a simple one, like x squared plus 7x minus 30 divided by x minus 3. That's very easy. So you set up your equation by using x minus 3 divided by, bring that down, x squared plus 7x minus 30. In order to do this, you have to find out how many times x goes into x squared. You're going to need an x above how many you're using, so we only need one x. So you're going to put an x right here. Now you're going to multiply these, this by this, the monomial by the polynomial. So you got x times x equals x squared, x times negative 3 equals negative 3x. And you're going to subtract the 2. Also, you have to flip this sign in the middle. And that's going to give you, that's going to cancel out to zero. And this is going to give you 10x. And you bring down 30, minus 30. And you want to find out how many times, what, what will equal 10x. And so you get 10 because 10 times x will equal 10. So you put plus 10 at the top. You multiply 10 and x to get 10x, and then 10 and negative 3 to get negative 30. Right there, 0, 0. The answer is x plus 10. x plus 10. And don't worry about the flip part. That's how you do simple long division. Quotient to this answer. Question, sorry. Okay, on to more complicated long division. What happens when you have an equation that goes r5 
minus 3r squared minus 20 divided by r minus 2. Well, you can't just divide this because you're going to get an answer with... It's not going to make sense. So you're missing an r4 and r3. You're missing both. Only way to do this is to write a new equation. And a new equation, you're going to replace, you're going to add, I'm sorry, you're going to add into the equation zeros. So it's going to be r5 plus r, zero, excuse me, 0 r4 minus, oh wait, no. Cut, restart. Okay, and you're going to write a new equation, and that new equation is going to be r5 plus 0r4 plus 0r3 minus 3r squared minus 20. This is your whole new equation that you're going to use. Just remember, every time that it goes, it skips a number, it has to be consecutive. So if you're at 3, if you're at x3, you have to go from x3 to x squared to x. If you're at x20, you're going to have to go x20, x19, can, you know, etc. r5, r4, r3, r2, and r. r is just the same thing as r1. So to do this problem, our new equation was r5 plus 0 r4 plus 0 r3 minus 3 r squared plus 0 r minus 20. Yeah, it's a long equation. Now that we have our new equation, let's write it out. And that will be r minus 2 divided by a long equation r5 plus 0r4 plus 0r3 minus 3r squared plus 0r minus 20. It's a, it's a long one. In order to do this, you're going to have to figure out what can you do to get to this. So you're going to have to multiply by R4. You're going to put R4 right above where R4 is. And so you're going to multiply R4 and R to get R5. And then you're going to multiply R4 and negative 2 to get minus 2R4. And you're subtracting, obviously. And that's going to cancel out. And you're going to get negative 2. I'm sorry negative 2r4 minus plus 0r3. How can you get to this? Basically, how many times can you get to 2r4 from here? You're going to need r3. Okay, you're going to need R3. You're going to need 2R3, excuse me. So 2R3 plus 2R3, or no, minus 2R3 because it's a negative. Excuse me. So you're going to multiply negative 2R3 and R to get negative 2R4. And remember, you're subtracting. Negative 2r4, and then negative 2r3 times negative 2 is going to get you 4r3 plus 4r3. That will then 
get you. That's going to cross out, and that's cross out, cross out, and this is going to get you to 4R3. Once again, and you bring down this equation all the way down here, and that's going to give you minus 3R squared. Okay, 3R squared and 4R3 cubed, excuse me. So how can we get to 4R cubed? Well, you need a 4, and you need a squared, because when you're multiplying exponent, when you're multiplying exponents, so if we have a 3R, or I mean R cubed times R, remember, when you're multiplying exponents, they add. So 3 plus 1 equals R4. That's how. So, but this time we need 3. So, you're going to get your 4, R4, squared. So you got plus... 4R squared. 4R squared multiplied by R is going to give you 4R cubed. Subtract. And then 4R squared times negative 2 is going to get you negative 8R squared. Subtract again to get this. These cancel out. And you're going to get 5R squared. Bring down the 0 R plus, excuse me, minus plus 0 R. Now, how do we get to 5 R squared? Again, you need a 5. So, I'm going to put a plus 5, and it's R squared, so R plus R is going to give you R squared, so 5, I mean, R 5, R, okay. I'm going to need a 5, and I'm going to need an r, because r times r equals r squared. So 5 r times r is going to give you 5 r squared. And then 5 r times negative 2 is going to get you negative 10 r squared. Negative 10 r, excuse me. Once you get here, you're going to flip the signs, so that changes into positive, and we got Oh, oh, cancel out. And this gets you to 10R. Bring down the negative 20. Last part. What can we multiply to get 10R minus 20? It's a simple, simple thing to get both of them. Obviously, we need 10. And we need... That's it. Because this is going to be your last one. So you're going to put plus 10 at the top, 10 times r equals 10r, 10 times negative 2 equals negative 20, you're going to subtract, that flips the sign, 0, your answer is r4 minus 2r cubed plus 4r squared plus 5r plus 10. That was a long problem. And that, my friends, is how you divide polynomials using long division. How can we use dividing polynomials using long division in our everyday lives? There's not much you can use this for. Although, you can use it for being a mathematician, a math teacher. You're going to need to use... You're going to need to know how you do long division. I will give you that. But there's not much you can do in your everyday life to use polynomials with long division. You know? And you can use it to become a math teacher like Miss Halverson. She, she taught us this so I can teach you.